Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So I've had several questions from viewers about flat screens. The first question being, do all flat screen TVs contain gold? And the second question, do the larger flat screens contain more scrappable material and worth more separating the items? So what I have behind me are actually six TVs that I've taken apart. I've already weighed them, separated the items, going to weigh the items separate to answer that question. I'm going to very quickly answer the first question, do all flat screens contain gold? The answer is yes. The question, however, is depending on how much. Um, some of them have a really nice strip of gold on what we call peripheral grade, high grade board. Uh, any of them that have HDMI outlets will have gold plated prongs or fingers inside of those. So yes, all of them will have gold. It just depends on the amount in them. Uh, the second question I'm going to answer right now. Uh, and the beautiful thing about all flat screen TVs is they are 100% scrappable. You could bring them in whole and get what we call e-waste price. So it pays by poundage. So obviously if you're doing it that route, the heavier the TV, the more value you get for it. However, it is not necessarily the, necessarily the case if the bigger it is, the more it has in it. I've seen some uh, large flat screens that have very little items inside of it. So I'm going to answer that with some data here or some calculations. Uh, so here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. For the, the sake of this video, I did not factor in the plastic back. I've taken them off. But once I am done this experiment and I bring these into the scrapyard, I can put it back on and I will get paid per weight of that because once these are sent off to the um, place where the scrapyard takes them, they will be recycled properly and broken down for further use. I have also included in this experiment, the backings here are magnetic. They are tin, but for this experiment, I did not take the back off. Um, so this TV right here, I'm going to start with this weighed actually 42 pounds in its entirety at five cents a pound in Canada. It's going to give me $2 and 10 cents. The next thing I did was I removed the tin or shred things like your speakers. I will take a little bit of copper out of there, but there's not much, but I will throw these into my tin. Some of the brackets are really heavy here and nice. Also, if it has a stand, if I can't sell these items online, this is magnetic. So this too will go into my tin shred. And I do want to address right now the difference between tin shred or steel. In order to be classified as steel in, in our scrapyards in southwestern Ontario, the metal has to be thicker than a quarter inch. Um, and some of these brackets do border on that. Uh, it does pertain to a lot of structural beams. Uh, trampoline poles are a good one. But since I only have a little bit of this that is bordering on steel price, uh, and it's only a couple cents more than tin, I threw it all into my tin or shred. And currently right now in London, Ontario, I'm getting eight cents a pound for tin. Uh, it's gone down a couple cents, but it's still better than e-waste price. And it is definitely still a nice high price for any scrapper. So. Just the tin here I have without the backing, I got 14 pounds of tin, so $1.12 for that. And the rest of it, this one was very basic, had several circuit boards. This circuit board here does have some number two copper on it in these little transformers. And I will remove those uh, later. I did not do it for this video because it's only gonna give me about 1.5 ounces of number two copper. Uh, so it doesn't really, uh, factor that much into profit. Um, some people do leave these on. They're very easy to take apart though. I just smash them with a hammer and pull out that copper. But I did weigh this as circuit board price. Um, so gonna do that in a second. These ones, however, are a nicer value. As you can see, these boards here do have a nice gold plated uh, bunch of fingers or prongs right here. And these actually are what we call high grade board. If your scrapyard looks at them that way, they're going, depending on where you are, where I could take it, I can maybe get 25 cents for it. Another where, place that I go is actually online. It's called boardsort.com. It's in the United States. And they classify these ones as your peripheral high grade. And currently given me, once I did the conversion, about $3.33 a pound Canadian. 
Um, these are not a pound, but I do store them up because I get them all the time on flat screens. Uh, and I will eventually, once I have a nice large amount, I will ship them. Um, as well, the other items, some people will refine the gold themselves. You could also hold on to them. Gold continues to rise, but definitely a better option selling them online to board sort than if I was to bring them into a scrapyard nearby. Um, so right here, this is the other one that has it. Um, this has some gold prongs right here, attachments there. This is another circuit board that has gold on it. So these are your high grade. And this right here, I have 3.2 ounces, which works out to be about 67 cents a pound here. Um, my e-waste, I factored the e-waste in with the rest of this TV because it's going to give me e-waste price. Gives me 22.2 uh, 22, 22 pounds of e-waste TV for a profit of $1.78. Combined, scrapping it, I made $3.57. So a profit of $1.47 a pound, or $1.47 for taking it apart. And for some of you that think, well, that's not worth it, it does not take that much time. So it does add up, especially when I have five TVs here. I think combined all these TVs, it took me maybe an hour to do everything. Uh, and I was taking breaks between because it is very hot. This one right here is the same size as this one, but it is worth a lot more. Uh, and a lot more components to this. It does have, this one weighed 40 pounds, um, so in its entirety, so almost the same size. It too has a really nice heavy uh, stand here, as well as some speakers and other things. So it gave me $2 for the TV untouched, without the back. Tin, it gave me 20 pounds, so $1.60 there. But the difference between this one and that one is the circuit board. The circuit board on this one here is one of the great circuit boards. Uh, this is just an example of it that you will find sometimes. Here is another one that I have. And I love these circuit boards. You can see some beautiful number two copper, some beautiful aluminum heat sinks that are going to go into extrusion, as well as other transformers that have copper in them. So uh, I did take that apart. You can see it separated right here. Uh, this is the trans or the circuit board that I came off of it. And the nice thing about this is even after I take off the goodies, I can still sell this as e-waste. So I have um, the first thing, extrusion. Look at the amount of extrusion it has. So extrusion is a form of aluminum. Uh, it's any aluminum that looks like it's been put through a press. So this is what we call clean aluminum or... Um, bare uh, extrusion, so no paint. If it was painted, you do have to separate it. But this is going right now for $1.20 a pound. So it too has gone down, but an excellent price still. And I had, just doing the factor here, 11.4 ounces, so almost 90 cents for this. Then I had the copper spools that I just took apart. And the nice thing about that extrusion is anytime you have the heat sinks, they have these prongs on them. These prongs actually are copper inside of them. So these would be number two copper, as well as the spool here. Uh, someone might say this looks like bare bright. Unfortunately, because it has glue on it um, and tape, this is number two um, as well. They do look at thickness of wire. In order to be classified as number one or bare bright, it has to be thicker than 16 gauge, which is the thickness of the lead of a pencil. This is not that thick. So this is number two. But I'm not going to complain because number two copper right now is going for $3.43 a pound in London, Ontario. And I have from that, where is my tally? I had um, five ounces, 5.3 ounces, so $1.14 there. And as well, the transformers, these transformers, I did not break them open. Uh, there is a category for these depending on what is in them. There is copper in them, but for this experiment, I just weighed them as is. Um, I factored in 15 cents a pound. I had 1.4 pounds right here. So these three weighed uh, 1.4 pounds. So 60 cents here. Uh, the gold, this too, had some really nice circuit boards. Uh, this actually had a lot of circuit boards in it, which was interesting. But you can see there is a little bit of brass on here. This one does have another high peripheral board. You can see 
the gold on that, the two gold circuit boards here. So combined, I had 3.75 ounces of gold e-waste, so 78 cents there. And once I factored in all of the circuit boards and the rest of the TV, it gave me uh, 20 pounds of TV, 2.02 pounds of e-waste, $3.36 a pound there. So a total of $8.38 for breaking this down for a profit of $6.38. So definitely a lot more than that TV, even, they're the set, even though they're the same size almost. This large one here, unbelievable, did not have much in it. Uh, this was all it had. I have seen some large flat screens that have huge aluminum tracks in them. Um, so you definitely wanna make sure you check. Some of them do have great items. This one, as I said, was very bare. This one, given the size, it still weighed 31 pounds, so $1.55 for this as is. It had a little bit of number two copper. I'm just gonna bring these up. No tin, so that's unbelievable. There wasn't a bracket or anything on this. But you can see the circuit board here. This circuit board does have a little spool or two spools of number two copper. Does have a couple small aluminum heat sinks. So I did factor those in. This one has a, that is what we call the painted heat sink. So definitely gonna factor that in as well, but I have to separate them. So I had two ounces of number two copper for 43 cents a pound, or 43 cents. I had three ounces of aluminum extrusion for 23 cents. I had 2.4 ounces of your gold e-waste for 50 cents. And then once I combined, I had one pound for e-waste boards and 29 pounds for the rest of that TV, which gave me $3.56, so a profit of $2. So just to show you, size does not always matter. Um, as I said though, don't be fooled. Some of these large screens have huge aluminum tracks to them that would definitely up the value significantly. But this is the example that I had and it does definitely prove that it does not matter what TV you have. Here is a much smaller one here. You see this one, again, this one weighed 18 pounds as is, uh, so gave me 90 cents. Here is some really nice brackets on here. Gave me three pounds of tin, so 24 cents a pound. Um, this one does have a little bit on the circuit board of Aluminum extrusion. So just gonna bring these items up. So there is my circuit board again, a little bit of copper, a little bit of extrusion. Um, you know, definitely got to break it off. This again is your number two copper in there as well. So factoring it in, I have four ounces of extrusion, so 30 cents there. I have 1.5 ounces of number two copper for 30, 32 cents. And then once I brought it all together, um, I also have, there is just one um, bo uh, uh, peripheral board here, you can see. As I said, sometimes there's two, sometimes there's three, depending on the size, depending on the brand, but 1.8 ounce of gold e-waste. And once I combined it again, it gives me 1.14 pounds of e-waste plus 12 pounds of e-waste from the TV for $1.10. So it gave me $2.33 here and a profit of $1.43 taking it apart. The last one, just a small one here, you think that it's not worth much. This is just your small TV here. Again, the last one I'm gonna use for my experiment. Um, this was actually 5.10 pounds, five, 5 pounds, 10 ounces for that small TV here, uh, which would give me 28 cents for the TV. Um, I have just a couple brackets here. It doesn't weigh much. It gave me six ounces of tin, so uh, four cents for that. I have a small peripheral high board there, high grade there, so 10 cents for this. Uh, and then I have, again, a little bit of copper. I did not put this into the experiment, but you can see just a small strand, a small couple aluminum heat sinks. It does have a small crystal oscillator, as many of them do, so you definitely want to check those. So um, I always keep those, depends if you're into micro scrapping, but I will put those into a uh, vial, uh, sell them online eventually once I have a bunch. There is a little bit of silver recovery in those. But this e-waste along with the TV, 
I have 11.4 ounces of e-waste and 4.5 pounds of TV e-waste, which gives me 42 cents. So combined, all of this gives me 84 cents for the TV, which is a 56 cent profit. So um, again, every TV holds value, which is great. I'm just trying to find um, a couple items here. This one, same thing. This gave me about $3.58, same components. Different circuit board, you can see it too has some aluminum heat sinks or extrusion, um, which is awesome. A little bit of copper. And this one, this was my six TV. It also gave me $3.78 a pound. So just comparing these sizes, sometimes you're gonna get a really good TV loaded with copper and heat sinks, extrusion. Um, but again, it doesn't matter. Last thing I do want to say is I did not factor in for this experiment the power cord or the cord. Every one of these has a cord. These cords are going to be what we call 40% appliance wire. Uh, currently right now in London, Ontario, they're going to go for $1.60 a pound. And the reason we call this 40% is because you can see three strands there that are individually coated as well as an outer coating. So there is more plastic on this, less copper. So it is gonna be a lower value than if it was just these three individual strands, which would be one coating of plastic, uh, higher copper value. So these, $1.60 a pound, each one of them has them, and they're almost a pound each. So if you factored in $1.60 more for them, each one of these, uh, but again, it was all relative because all of them had it and it would not change the outcome of these TVs. It would just up my value from scrapping it, comparing it with leaving it as a whole TV. So hopefully that answered those questions. Definitely, yes, all of them do have gold, um, high peripheral boards. I will stock these up, as I said. Definitely a higher value than I would get if bringing them to my local scrapyard. Uh, you do want to check, uh, depends on where you live. Some will give you high grade, medium grade, low grade, depending on the value. But again, for me, given the price of gold that it continues to rise, these are excellent sources that I will continue to stockpile. Um, size, again, does not matter um, if you are scrapping it. Uh, all of them have value, but again, once you open it and start taking things apart, there is where the profit lies. Um, and again, as I said, it depends on the TV style. It depends on the maker, the year it was made, but all flat screens do have a great scrappable value. And again, hopefully that answered those two questions for you. Please continue asking away. I will do what I can to answer those. Uh, love the scrapping community and the support. Uh, stay well. Please comment down below, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Tin Man out.